What's up, Flex Team? It's Friday afternoon. Me and Cam are about to jump into a velocity-based training session. So a little bit of experimentation here at Flex today. Uh, so real quick, I'm just kind of talk about we have the force velocity curve, right? When it comes down to training athletes, we want to make sure that we're training those type 2 muscle fibers. We want to train the muscle fibers that produce high forces and do it quickly. They produce those high forces at a, at a very fast pace. So today we decided we're going to train power, which is the relationship between both your force and your velocity. Now, with velocity-based training, based on how fast you contract, you can train a different stimulus here. So, you know, when we're lifting heavy and we're at 90% plus, we call that absolute strength. When we're super light, let's say we're below 25% of our one rep max, we're at starting strength, right? And this follows with our force velocity curve. So absolute strength would go with force, starting strength would go with velocity, and then you've got your ones in the middle, which are kind of like your power. So today, what me and Cam are gonna do, we're gonna specifically target our strength speed. Okay, and that means we need to be training at a velocity of 0.75 to 1.0 meters per second. Now, you know, we got the technology here at Flex. So we've got this push band. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the push band to tell us the velocity that we're putting on the barbell. We're gonna specifically, the move we're gonna be doing is gonna be the sumo deadlift. We're gonna have the push band on, and we're gonna use that uh, to find out at what weight are we within that 0.75 to 1.0 range? Once we find that weight, then we're gonna do sets of two until we fall out of that range, so. All right guys, so we're, right now we're building up to our starting weight. So right now we're at 115, so I'm gonna give it a, a couple pulls and then we're gonna reference it on the iPad to see each one of my reps, what the velocity is on the rep. So here we go. So if you guys saw the screen there, I, which I can go back and show you, I started at a 0.81. By the time I got to that third pool, I was at a, a 1.02. So my average velocity that set was a 0.9, which means I am within that speed strength range, or strength speed, strength speed range. So this is good. This, is, this means I could use this weight for the 10 sets of two, but we're going to let Cam get a couple rips on this thing and see if he's also within that range, then if we're both good, we're gonna jump into our workout. All right, fam, so Beeson had a uh, hit set, pretty much the dialed in that range, we're looking to train uh, power really well. I'm gonna get a couple of pulls uh, and see where I'm at, that way I can know uh, how close we are and stay in that power base range, roughly 30 to 80%. I think I'd get on your iPad real quick. There we go. Kill. Point nine three. One point one five. One point oh nine. Woo. So a little high, uh, but again, you know that way it really allows both me and Brandon to dictate the the weight with the load that we should be using. Uh, we're, we're using band tension as well, so again, we're not just directly loaded with the weight here. We're going to be able to use that. I can use this sensor here, guys, with a push band to get my weight dialed in to make sure I'm in the appropriate range of train power. All right, guys. So we've built up. We've got, well, 165 pounds with just the bar and the weights alone, but then we've got this band tension, so who actually knows how much it is. But we're within the ranges that we need to be for our velocity. So this is the first official working set. And we have a goal of, of 10 sets, but we'll see how many we get. So long as we stay within the range, we'll just keep ripping these things out.
Nice. All right, team. So me and B just finished up our sumo pull session, really focused around power, contractile, fiber, activation. So just in summation here, really focusing our speed strength zone, roughly 45 to 65% because we're hitting a 0.75 to around a 1 meters per second. Both Brandon and I stay within that zone. Also, we're really focused on this session for power, which as far as a percentile would be in that range of 30 to 80%. Power really is that uh, inverse relationship between force and velocity. So we just picked that today. Brandon and, and myself will use today's session, guys, to kind of replicate a speed endurance setting. So we both went for 15 rounds on like a 20 minute clock, you go, I go style, had the push band on, pulled two, and I mean, we freaking pulled those things fast as we could, made the switch. How do we relate this into a setting that we would use for athletes? I think this is a great example of where we could use this training stimulus to A, have fun, because it was lit, it was a lot of fun, but B, replicate explosive muscle contractile speeds that we want to see maybe in a high speed environment. This also, as far as a strength and conditioning environment, can help with our Olympic lifts for the amount of velocity, amount of force that we can rip something off the ground and a high speed movement, as well as a strength lift because even if we don't see that from the floor, there is contractile speed, is a, uh, it has a direct effect on how well you're going to be able to lift a heavy load. So really good stuff today, guys. Again, you can use this for condition like we did, or you can use DBT to just tell you what you should be hitting in a load, uh, in a workout where you're trying to hit strength or maybe high speed or something in between. So really cool numbers, guys. We'll take this and uh, keep producing some content in the future. Y'all know the deal. Stay flexing.